um, are you guys excited to be here in Jacksonville? Oh, of course. Yeah, man. Always Where? excited to be anywhere that people want to see us play a show. <laughs> yeah. So I know you guys are coming out with a new album mm -hmm. in May. Um, I watched the video, Ungrateful. Can you tell me, like, I know it's about bullying. Mm -hmm. Like, where's that coming from? Uh, I came up with the concept of the video, and then the director really took it to a whole new level. His name's Frankie Nasso. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the song was really powerful. The lyric content of the song was very powerful. The song itself is very powerful, and I wanted the video to reflect that. And so it's kind of based off of my own personal experiences and my friends' experiences that I grew up with or, you know, friends that I'd see or people that I would see. And, it, it, you know, it is a vicious cycle. There's a reason why everybody gets down on somebody else. You don't know what's going on in that person's life, and it starts with you. And if you can be a better person, hopefully you can reflect that positivity onto somebody else. And voila! Well, people stop. Really yeah, yeah, I like that shit though. Voila, right. people like stop it. giving a shit about giving a shit. You know, yeah. just stop giving a shit. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Let go and enjoy life. It's we're here for a very short amount of time. Why get down on anybody? We're all different for a reason. Wow. Just because yeah. Chunk from the Goonies looks like a fucking <laughs> idiot doesn't mean I don't love. Ch it's one of my favorite characters in the movie. <laughs> hey, you guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I see the beauty in everything. And that's what everybody else needs to do. You that's just need awesome. to be open-minded. Stop being so damn opinionated and thinking that you're greater than fucking sliced bread, you know? <laughs> so just be loving and accepting of everyone and everything. Well said. I know. Very well said. <laughs> so can I say, like, what's Peace your... Peace love, bro. <laughs> Let's get the fade would start. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your favorite song on the new album? Do y'all have one yet? or? Do you? Uh, they're all so good. I love every one of them. Uh, we have a track called uh, Chemical Love okay. that I like a lot just because it has all the elements in it. It's dark, it's sexy, it's, <laughs> I don't know. It just so you'll hear it. Yeah, let me know what you think. I will. Yeah. My favorite track to listen to off the record, I think, is the second track, Until We Die, just because that to me has everything minus the darkness. That's why I like Chemical Love. But lately, my favorite song that we play live off the new record oh, yeah, is yeah, Fire yeah. It Up. Okay. That, that was I, did, I didn't know if I liked that song that much when I heard it on the record, but after the first time we performed it live, I was like, "Fuck, I love this song." <laughs> <laughs> it just it's high can, energy. The yeah, whole you can time. really like you crowd. can just feel it. You know what I mean? It's like it's a fucking headbanger. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see y'all perform. I'm serious. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is there any like memorable experience like of your whole career being on tour that you can share with us? Like something that just sticks out in your mind. There's always like, something memorable that happens. <laughs> I think TJ knows what's sticking out in my mind currently. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> New Zealand. That's, that's a long, long, that's a long, long, long story. story. But there, there's, <laughs> there's always memorable more. There's always memorable moments. One that I'm thinking about right now is uh, where were we? We were in uh, Minneapolis, I think. And after the show, it was my friend's birthday. We all went to hang out at the strip club. And I'm hanging out with a bunch of strippers, and I'm wasted. And they're like, "Hey, you want to go back to our hotel and hang out?" I'm like, "Sure, man. Yeah." So I go back it was to my the birthday party. Oh yeah, it was here. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. He's like my friend's birthday. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was Tony. Right. It was his birthday. Yeah, his was it, was, it, was his birthday <laughs> it was fucking his birthday, right? And I go to the hotel and I'm like, so what are we doing here? And they're like, well, you know, uh, I don't know, just hang out for a bit. We're all gonna go smoke a cigarette. You want one? I'm like, no, I'll hang tight. They all go smoke a cigarette. When they come back up, I'm passed out. They didn't bother to fucking wake me up and be like, hey, you have to go back to your bus. I woke up at six in the fucking morning. I'm like, what time is We're it? We're already like in the next city. And the, oh, shit. I, yeah, the <laughs> fucking bus is gone. They're eight hours away in, like, fucking Chicago. What? Yeah, so he had to hop on a last-minute flight. That what? was, like, his first tour with us, and we're like, oh, yeah. man, we had a great replacement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that for sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, wow. that was a bad time. Wow. Yeah, that was a bad time. But hey, It was my birthday, and we had my boy Tony out, and Tony just likes to show everybody a good time. So since it was my birthday, he thinks of me as his little bro. He was trying to go above <laughs> and beyond, and uh, TJ got caught up with the wrong crowd that yeah. night. <laughs> I obviously normally went back to the bus and passed out from how much I had to drink. So what is the lesson that we learned here? Don't hang. Don't, don't leave <laughs> the area with random women. Or random people, period. Yeah, bad news. Or how about you do a head count on the tour bus before it gets pulled out? It's no, like we did the head count, but nobody could get my, a hold of TJ. My phone was fucking So we off. waited like an hour and a half. We we're like, all right, let's fucking go. I guess uh, I guess we're leaving Teach here. That's funny. 
Yeah. I mean, I've been in situations where I'm with random guys or a random couple, <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out how I'm getting back. I, I was I, I was supposed to just recently stay away. recently in El Paso. In my head, I was thinking I'm like, wait a minute, I gotta get back to the bus, and I did tell them that, and they're like, well, we're gonna go smoke a cigarette, we'll come up, we'll hang out for a bit, and we'll pay for your cab. And wow. They said that, and that they and they never didn't wake just, you up. They just never woke me up. Recently in El Paso, it's my drummer's hometown. This was like a week ago. I go to his family's house for a barbecue. His cousins want to go out. So I'm with his cousin and his cousin's girlfriend and me. <laughs> we go out. We're having drinks. I'm like, all right, guys, I got to get back to the bus. They're like, yeah, we know, we know, we know. We know Robert. You know, we're his family. <laughs> and then uh, he starts driving. He's all cool. And we get in the car. And then all of a sudden, he's just done. His girlfriend's yelling at him. I'm yelling at him. I'm like, dude, please pull the car over. <laughs> You're going insane. He's like doing this 90 miles per hour. I hop out of the car, the first red light. His girlfriend hops out of the car, the next red light. I walk around for like an hour and a half trying to find a Denny's because my cell phone's dead. I needed to call a cab. Next morning, I hear he totaled his car. Holy so that's shit. one of those like God something something got me out he of that car okay, that night. But he was okay. His car was not okay. But the whole passenger side and back seat were fucked. So thankfully, me and his girlfriend got out because I was in the back seat. She was in the passenger seat. But yeah, crazy shit happens all the time. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Life. That's a good story. Yeah. Uh, Pretty much. Don't drink. Alcohol. If I had a <laughs> alcohol is the problem of, of everything. Yeah, I was explaining, I can really murder today. So. Yeah. I know. Alcohol is the biggest problem. It's not alcohol is not the problem. It's Your moderation is the problem. Yeah. Everything in moderation. You gotta know when to say, I feel good. <laughs> and I'm good. Coming I from you? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying you gotta know. Yeah. I'm not saying I know how to do that. No. I'm not saying I know how to do that because I don't. I'm still working on that. I'm getting better and better at it as time goes on. It's good. It's a work in progress. But you just yeah, it is a work in progress. You have to know when to be like, you know what, man? Thank you, because you know you get in situations. I like to go out and be sociable. I like to hang out with the fans from the show. I like to give them a memorable night. You know that. They're getting that night once. I, I get that night every single night, so I kind of feel guilty sometimes. Yeah. And they're like, let me buy you a shot, man. I'm like, okay, let me buy you a shot, man. All right. And then I'm doing this. Let me buy you a shot. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> they're like, you better not stop on us. I'm like, I never do. <laughs> and then I'm just like, pass out on the bar. It's ridiculous. I think I interviewed you guys a few years ago at Vance Warped. Did you do Vance Warped? Yeah, in 09. Kregermeister. That's when I was really bad. Yeah. We they called me the Kregermeister. The Kregermeister. And we had to come in and I think we did a live interview. I have to go back and pull that down. You do. You do. See, I was a lot worse then. Yeah. I'm 26 years old now, so I got to start slowing my roll a little bit. Yeah, well, you know. At least for now. YOLO, right? YOLO. YOLO. <laughs> One last thing. Swag. <laughs> Twerk. Twerk. <laughs> Sorry, it's, yeah. I like it. I Keep just going. downloaded Vine. You, just show her the video so she knows what we're talking oh, about. Please I want to see it right now anyway. I love Vine. This guy, what's he in? He's like an actor, he's, uh, right? He's in, I thought he was in Mad TV. He might be. Who is but it? he does a perfect, uh, what's his name? Robert Not De Niro. Robert De Niro. Dude, he fucking oh. looks. And he goes, <laughs> swag. Twerk. <laughs> wait, no, right here. Yeah, wait, you do that pretty wait. good, too. Oh, wait. Let me see. Watch, oh my Ready? Oh, yeah, he looks he just like him. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, low, swag. Oh, wait, 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 do that again. Yo, low, swag, work. Yeah. This right. shit's hilarious. Anyway. This awesome. <laughs> interview way went off track. Man. Sorry. Sorry. No, it's okay. I like it's it. Right. Um, what gets you amped? As you can see, get amped. we get amped magazine. Yeah. What, what gets, gets me amped? This guy gets me amped. Ready? Yo, who can drink more than the other? <laughs> I get amped off the crowd. Like, after watching them cool. go off, that gives me energy, and I'm just feeding off of them. Yeah. So I'm just like, fuck yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Every time we play a f festival shows like this, and I see friends or bands we're on tour with or anything, and they go up there and they kill it and they have a good show, it just gets me more amped. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm like, I'm so excited for them that they had a great show and the crowd was into it that I'm like, yeah, man. You know, it's going to be a good day. This is a good crowd. They're supporting music, and that always gets me amped up. That's yeah. awesome. And you too? Yeah. Yes. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Awesome. You guys thank are you. Awesome. Right. You guys are hilarious.